Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk about Assets Panel in Affinity Designer. It's quite an unknown feature of the software, but it's really, really handy. So, let me start with new document. Create. Here's our blank canvas. Now I'm going to quickly create two or three icons. And then after that, we're going to add them to Assets Library. So, just a moment, let me create some simple icons. And after that, we're going to add them into our Asset Library. Okay, my three icons are ready. Now I'm going to add them to my asset library. So, view, studio, and assets. On the left side, you can see my assets panel. Here are all pre-installed assets. For iOS 12, we can move to different category. Click this drop box. I got many assets installed here. But now I want to create a new category. It's here, blank new category, you can rename this. Test, okay, this is the name of your category. Now you just need to select them. Click over here and add from selection. As you can see, I got three new assets here. Now I can delete all and I can just drag and drop from asset panel as many time I want. Good thing is, if I move to different project, they will be still there in my asset panel. So I don't need to jump between different files and copy and paste them, stuff like that. Take a look, I got multiple different asset sets. Like this one with ribbons. Ready to use. Ribbons. It's really easy, just drag and drop. The good thing about this feature is, it's exactly the same on iPad version of Affinity Designer. Really handy on iPad to just drag and drop stuff from asset panel instead of looking around your iPad, your memory, your iCloud. Okay, so stickman set. What else do we have here? Really nice set for making ornaments over here. Let me show you one more. Maybe this one, Map Maker, really nice set for making little illustrated maps. Multiple buildings ready to use, just drag and drop stuff. So here is my time for a little auto promotion. As you can notice, I got many asset sets here and I create them all myself. And you can get them from my Affinity template store on Creative Market. So I will put the link into the description. You can follow the link and check out my Affinity template store on Creative Market. All assets are created in Affinity Designer for Affinity Designer. So, it comes with assets panel included. That's right, you don't need to create it yourself. You just 
open the file and there is embedded asset panel inside the file already made for you. This can really speed up your work, especially on iPad. So please take your time, follow the link from the description of this video and just take a look. Maybe there's something you need, something that will speed up your workflow. Okay, so thank you for today and I hope you learned something new about Asset Panel in Affinity Designer. See you next time.